Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you, 14 to 1,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. Um, very, very grateful. Please, um, hope you're doing alright and may you stay blessed. Motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Um, say hi, we'll say hi back. I was vlogging channel Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to why death penalty is given in Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings. And press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Sorry, what's your name, brother? My name is Wallace Maigua. Wallace. Wallace, do you believe that there is one God? I believe there is one God. Do you believe Jesus is God? I believe Jesus is a messenger and son of God. Messenger of God, correct. Messenger of God and he's also the son of God. Son of God meaning messenger, no problem. But he's not, he's not God. My Bible tells me that he's the only begotten son of God. And uh. that is... Ah, but if you read as I told you, brother, Wallace, I told you what you're quoting is from the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, which says, For, so God, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now, if you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 Christian scholars, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this word begotten is interpolation, is a fabrication. So if you say begotten son, it is a fabrication. If you say son of God, meaning a messenger of God, no problem, brother. So if you believe he's a godly person, we verily believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is, was the beloved of God, but he was not God, he was a messenger of God. I will beg to differ with you, Dr. Naik, but uh, I have my reason. Okay. Uh, although that was not my question, I have two questions yes, most of which I want to ask today. Yes, you're most welcome. Ask your question. The first question is regarding um, Islam yes, and Christianity. We all know that Christianity began or uh, commenced since 2,000 years ago. As a, well as uh, Islam commenced about 14 years hundred years ago uh, would you be kind enough sir to explain to me or uh, to anyone else who may have doubt how you believe uh, about this period f f since the uh, the time of Christ when Muslim uh, started do you believe that uh, these people who existed in that time will be judged or uh, they are going to be the same as us who has come after Islam? The brother asked the question that according to him, Christianity came 2,000 years back and Islam came 1,400 years back. Brother, you're wrong. Islam did not come 1,400 years back. Islam is there since time immemorial. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of the religion of Islam, but he's the last and final messenger. Islam is there right from Adam, peace be upon him. Adam, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. So you have a misconception that Islam came into existence 14 years ago. It's totally wrong. Quran was revealed 14 years back. But Islam is there since time memorial at the time of Moses. If you followed the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him, you would go to heaven. At the time of Jesus, if you followed the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you would go to heaven. Today, you have to follow the teachings of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And that was also meant by Jesus, peace be upon him. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that year shall he speak. He shall glorify me. So, brother, at the time of Moses, you have to believe in the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him. At the time of Jesus, if you believe in the teaching of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you are following Islam. Moses was a messenger of Islam. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of Islam. And the last and final messenger 
was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that clarifies the question, brother. Dr. Zakir Naik, please, can you tell me whether uh, parts of the Bible of which are speaking the truth or there are others which are lying or... Uh, I don't understand this, please, sir. You asked the question that can you believe the Bible is lying, speaking the truth, etc. We believe that Injil was the Wahi which was revealed to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But the present Bible, it is a mixture. It contains part of the Wahi given by Almighty God to Jesus. It also contains the word of the prophet. It even contains word of historian. And I'm sorry to say, it even contains pornography. So I do not agree the total Bible to be the word of God. It is a mixture. What matches with the Quran, I've got no objection in agreeing that is the word of God. But the Bible even has got pornography. For example, Ezekiel 23. If, I, if you pay me even a million dollars to read Ezekiel 23, I cannot read in the public. It's nothing but pornography. Correct, brother? So I, I do not believe the total Bible is the word of God. The Bible says that Prophet Luth, he did zina, he did incest with his daughter. I cannot believe that a prophet of God can do incest with the daughter. Therefore, everything of the Bible is not the word of God. It is a mixture. It contains the word of God. It contains the word of the prophet. It contains the word of historians. It even contains pornography. My final question, sir. Yes, brother. This is regarding capital punishment. Yes, brother. Of which is illegal in many countries of the modern world. Yes. Uh, this capital punishment, for me, if I would be asked, this is murder. And the, uh, I to know whether you believe that uh, Allah or my God, of whom I worship and I bow down before, he is the only one who has a right to take life, whether of a sinner or whether of a good person. Because... Um, I understand, and you earlier mentioned that it is punishable by death, according to the Holy Quran. The brother said that capital punishment in most of the modern country is illegal, but in Islam there are certain capital punishment, and brother rightly said that only Almighty God has a right to punish. That's the reason only those crimes which Almighty God has given permission to kill is allowed. And I gave you an example that if someone commits rape, there is capital punishment. Brother, I'm asking you the question. Someone rapes your mother. Brother, I'm asking you a question. Someone rapes your mother and the rapist is born in front of you. And if you are made the judge, what punishment will you give him? What will you do? I will kill because I'm a human being. Oh, kill. Now you are saying capital punishment wrong. When someone rapes your mother, you want to kill the rapist. Why? Double standards. You are a human being, I'm a human being. Allah is Almighty God. He has told that certain crimes which are spreading corruption in the world, like raping, should be put to death. I agree with you. I have asked this question to thousands of non-Muslims. 100% all of them said we will put him to death. Some went to the extent of saying, I will torture him to death. How you said, I will kill him. That's Correct. You are a human being, I am a human being. How dare somebody rapes your mother or my mother? I agree with you, brother. <coughs> this is the law of God because he is spreading corruption. So in this way, brother, there are certain crimes which Quran and the Sharia gives permission as capital punishment. If it is a punishment from God, we agree with it. You and I cannot put anyone to death unless it is permitted by Almighty God. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you so much, sir. You are most welcome, brother. Of course, the crimes that we're going to say God doesn't commit which we also are saying are absurd and shouldn't be happening but then how do we know that um this should this is the right punishment for the crime you know is it stated in the quran that for rape you should maybe slap someone 
there and then for this you should kill them for this that's what i'd love to understand otherwise um, capital punishment is extreme yes but then when you look at things other other a few days ago I was reading that um a woman from Botswana would be ex executed in Bangladesh because she traveled there with some form of drugs. I don't even know which drug that was a forgotten. And um after being in jail for a few months she was hung either the other weekend or something, I'm not even sure, you know. So should we say that's right? Because why should you it doesn't matter whether you're a foreigner or a national, whatever it is, do you think the dangerous business that you're involved in is worth it? Do you think doing that kind of business, selling whatever you're selling is okay? Because the, but as much as many people are doing all sorts of things, but then where does someone draw the line and say, um, this results into death? Because I'm sure if death penalty is what's awarded for rape, I don't think people would be raping people that much. The other day I read someone right here in this country uh, raped their niece or something. I think they got months in jail, you know, just months for raping someone younger than them. Someone who's a child doesn't even understand what's going on. So different countries, different rules, but then we as people, what do we think? Should drug dealers be cured? Should rapers be cured? Should thieves be cured? What? What's more suitable? What crime fits whatever criteria that's put out there? But um, don't you guys think that should we decide to punish this person then we've made ourselves judges? Or should we because I, th I don't think it's normal to just let someone walk scot free i really don't think it's normal but then doesn't that make us judging parties i'm judging you because you stole my lollipop and i want you to get killed for that or i want you to go to jail for that has god given us the permission to do such a thing that's something i'd love for us to dis to discuss in the comment section below let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video